Hey everyone, welcome back. It's time to talk about the best tips and tricks to fix haptic touch not working on iPhone. If your iPhone's haptic touch isn't working as expected, don't worry. This feature which provides quick actions with the press and hold gesture can sometimes face software or settings related issues. In this hands-on guide, I'm going to talk about the 5 most effective solutions to fix haptic touch not working problem. That's it. Let's get started. So first off, I would recommend you to check your haptic touch settings on your device. If the haptic touch sensitivity is set incorrectly, your iPhone may not register your touch duration properly. The fast option responds quicker, while the slow option requires a longer press. Misconfigured settings can make haptic touch seem unresponsive. Just open the settings app on your iPhone, and then you have to choose the accessibility option. And under the physical and motor section, select the touch option. And then you have to choose the haptic touch option. And then you have to choose the fast option for the best experience. After that, you have to test and adjust the touch duration to match your preference. Then I will recommend you to restart your iPhone. iPhone occasionally experiences software glitches or background app conflicts, which can disrupt features like haptic touch. Restarting the device clears temporary system errors, resets processes, and often resolves minor performance issues. To do so, you just have to hold down the power button and the volume button simultaneously, and then you have to drag to power off your device. And then you have to wait for a few seconds and press the power button aka, the side button to restart your iPhone. Next up, I will recommend you to disable and re-enable the haptic feedback on your iPhone. System features like haptic test can stop working due to temporary software conflicts or bugs in the settings. Disabling and re-enabling haptic refreshes the feature, resolving minor system glitches. To do so, you have to launch the settings app and then you have to scroll down and select sounds and haptics option. Then you have to turn off the toggle next to system haptics. And then you have to restart your iPhone. And once your iPhone has rebooted, you have to turn on the system haptics and check if the haptic touch has started to work as usual. Then I will recommend you to update the software on your iPhone because I suspect that a software bug might be causing the problem and preventing the haptic test from functioning properly. To do so, you have to launch the settings app on your iPhone. Then you have to choose the general option. Then you have to select the software update option and download and install the latest version of iOS on your device. And finally, I would recommend you to reset all settings on your iPhone. Know that corrupt system settings or software conflicts can cause haptic touch to malfunction and resetting all settings will help you restore factory defaults for configurations without deleting your personal data, eliminating any conflicting elements. To do so, you have to launch the settings app on your iPhone. Then you have to select the general option. Then you have to scroll down to the bottom of the screen and select transfer or reset iPhone. Then you have to tap reset. After that, you have to select reset all settings option and confirm the action by entering your device passcode. And that's about it. Hopefully you have managed to fix the haptic touch issues on your iPhone using these pretty neat and reliable methods. Thanks for watching. If you found this video helpful, make sure to like and share it and do subscribe for more such handy iPhone tips and tricks. Now I'll catch you up in the next one. Take care. Bye-bye.